Hello everybody, my name is Parak and in today's video I got a special request to go use what I would assume they mean is ZSD with the counter as well as I think they want me to also use Soaring Wyvern. So I'm just going to go do that with the Switch Axe. And since we're using ZSD I may as well take it to one of the few monsters where ZSD is actually pretty decent to use. And that's because it gives you extra uptime when you normally wouldn't be able to. I'm because you can attach to him when he tries to run away, which obviously we have the counter as well, so it's kind of weird to use. I'm honestly just going to build up as much meter as I can before I start pressing ZSD.
Funnily enough, it would have been perfect to ZSD spam entirely, because he chose charge pretty much every other option. As usual though, here is the build. It's a pretty standard setup. I think my other build is very similar to this. I just had to adjust it so I could use CSD without just being a complete detriment by using it. It's using a DC3 with a 3 and a 2 slot. And here are the skills and decorations, of course. All the green numbers are from decorations. If you wanted to screenshot there, and there you can. It's a very regular setup. The only thing you would really change is obviously stun res. You don't need it on a regular setup normally because you shouldn't be getting hit that much. Because if you get hit that often, you've probably carted already at this level anyway. Why a lot of people just don't run it at like 300s and above. But yeah, as I mentioned, that was a special request to go take on a ZSD style playstyle with the counter as well as I'd assume Soaring Wyvern. As always, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.